Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Quinones here. And as you can see, I got some stuff in front of me. I'm starting a new series on this channel called Tiny Tech Unboxing. I know you're probably thinking, what, Tiny, what does that mean? You know, you got all these other big channels out there with massive tech unboxings, huge tech unboxings. Well, you know what? I got a couple of things here. So it's gonna be a Tiny Tech Unboxing. And for everything we unbox, I will have the links down in the description below in case you guys find yourself interested in any of this. Some of this stuff, I do know what it is. Some, I don't know what's in there. So it's gonna be a surprise for all of us because I think this is actually the first official tech unboxing on this channel as well. So let's open this stuff up and see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one right here. This is from, oh, this is from our friends over there at New Mobile. Let's see what we got in here. It looks, it feels like a phone, it feels like a box that a phone would be in. So let me open it up and see what we got in here. And it is a phone, I was right, let's chuck this to the side. And this is, oh, this is their R1, the new mobile R1. It's got a five inch HD IPS display, a rear eight megapixel camera, front two megapixel camera, dual SIM standby, two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and a 4,000 milliamp battery. So that's not bad. This is supposed to be one of their really rugged phones. Let me open up this box and see what actually comes inside. All right, so I got a nice knife right here to go ahead and help me cut this open. All right, so I got the plastic off. Let's open this up. And here is the phone right at the top of the box. I wanna take a look at this phone and see how durable it really looks. Oh man. Okay, so this thing feels like it's got a case on it, but this is how it comes. There is no case. Yeah, this feels actually really durable. It's like a hard plastic, but actually it, doesn't, it looks pretty cool for a rugged device. It doesn't look too bad. Let me take the plastic off the top as well. And it does come with a screen protector. You do not see that on a lot of phones. Now this is a budget, rugged phone that you can buy from new mobile let me see if there's any juice on here and yeah there is some juice so i'm gonna let that boot up let's see what else is in the box here you got a charging cable us uh micro usb so not type c and then you have the charging brick and that's all that comes in the box all right so the phone is on and you can see how big the screen looks on this phone so yeah there is quite a bit of bezel all around the phone but again this is a budget rugged phone so of course i'm going to have to do a review on it i want to see how durable this thing is because i think you can take it in the water you can drop it as hard as you can it shouldn't break so of course i'm gonna have to do a drop test with this just to see how durable it really is let's go ahead and open something else up all right so next i am going to pick let's open this up let's see this is from Poetic Cases. Looks like Poetic sent me out some cases. I don't know what phone for. I don't remember if I ever emailed them or not. Let's see, we got three cases right here for the OnePlus 6T. Yeah, they're actually all for the OnePlus 6T. So let's open them up really quick and see what comes inside. See what kind of cases they sent me out. Here's one of them. Okay, so this is one of their more rugged cases, one of their more protective cases with the screen protector on it. And let me open this up, take the plastic out. And yeah, I've actually done a drop test using this case for the Galaxy Note 9, I believe, and they held up really, really well. As you can see, it's got the plastic screen protector in the front as well. And I think this other one is the same, I'm not sure, let me check. Kind of looks like it's gonna be a durable one just like that. And yeah, it is. Actually, this one actually looks like it comes with the kickstand on the case. Okay, so this one comes with the screen protector as well. And it does come with the kickstand too. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to throw my OnePlus in these just to see how good they look. And if they add a lot of bulk, usually protective cases like that do add a bit of bulk. But hey, they protect your phone so you don't have to worry about dropping it and it breaking or anything like that. And this last case right here feels like it's just a regular, yeah, it's just a regular clear case. You can see very flexible. If you wanna show off your OnePlus 60, let's see, I actually got it right here in my pocket. So let me take this other case off. Let me throw it in here. And it actually, doesn't feel too bad, doesn't add, doesn't add too much bulk to the device. If you wanna show off how beautiful your OnePlus 6T looks, I'm gonna drop it right here on the table. 
Seems like it's gonna protect it very well. It's got some lip all around the edge. But of course, you guys already know how I do my case reviews. I like doing drop tests with these, especially these very protective cases. I like to do drop tests with them to see how well it actually protects the device. So you guys keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. All right, so next, let's go ahead and take a look at this one up top. This is from my Migo. Oh, I know what this is. I actually talked to them at CES. It's actually a nice accessory for your smartphone camera. All right, so I got it open. Let me slide this out right here. Check this box to the side. And yeah, I remember this. This is called a Pictar. It's a DSLR, your phone. Well, they have an iPhone right here, but they said you can use it for any type of phone, which is why I requested it. It's iPhone and Android. Convert your phone into a real camera. So let's open this up and try it on the phone really quick. Nice presentation here, not too bad. And it shows you, it also comes with a little LED light. I don't know if you guys can see on the picture right there, but let me go ahead and take this out. This is the white model. It actually looks really nice. Let me go ahead and take this out. Okay, and it actually feels really light, but it looks like I do have to add something in here. Okay, this is actually the spot for the phone. You just slide it right on. Let's see what else comes in the box. All right, so it also comes with some straps to attach to it, so you can wrap it around your hand so you don't have to risk dropping it or anything like that. And it also comes with a nice carrying pouch. Now this is actually really nice, so you don't have to risk damaging it. Let's see how it fits in there. Yeah, look at that. It's actually really nice. It's a nice, soft material. Let me pull it out real quick. It looks like there's something in here. This is the, okay. So these little things right here that I didn't know what they were for, it gives you a little booklet right here letting you know how to use them. Connect when using small size smartphones. And then they also got a user manual right here to show you how to use it. But let me just slide my phone in here really quick just to see how well it fits. Okay, now you can actually open it up as far as you need to for bigger phones. So right now I got my OnePlus. I would try my Note 9, but I'm actually using that to record this video. But let me try this out and go ahead and stick it right in there. And there you go. Your phone's nice and secure and you don't have to worry about it falling out. Now, of course, I'm sure there's an app you have to download, but this looks actually, this actually looks really cool. It makes it look like a real camera. You got the buttons up here, you got the zoom in, zoom out, and you got the little placement right here for the LED light. So yeah, this actually looks pretty cool. I cannot wait to review this and show you guys how it works. All right, so we got four more things right here. Let's see, I'll go ahead and go with this one. Let's open this up. This is from Mob, oh, Mob Boy. I, th I think I know what this is. I did email them, I remember, or actually they contacted me, asked if I would give this a review. I said, yeah, of course, sure, why not? And this is a smartwatch. This is the Tick Watch E2. It is the ultimate fitness companion. It is swim friendly, up to 48 hours of battery life. So this is more like a fitness watch that you wanna use when you're exercising, you're going swimming or anything like that, rather than wearing out casually. I mean, I'm sure you can wear it on a casual occasion, but this is more like, they even have a picture of it underwater. So this is gonna be more pointed towards fitness. Now this does have Wear OS by Google. Um, it's got customizable watch faces. You can receive notifications. It's got the Google Assistant. You can also stream music from it as well. Inside the box is a USB charging dock, user manual, and the watch itself. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the watch looks like. And I, oh, this actually doesn't look too bad for a sports watch. Look at this. Not too bad at all. I'm not sure what the price is on this, but of course I'm gonna do my full review. So you guys keep an eye out for that. But it actually feels, the strap itself is like a rubber material, really soft padded material actually. It doesn't feel rubber at all. And then the outside, the surrounding of the watch is actually like a hard plastic. There is a protector over the screen. But yeah, this is the Tick Watch E2. Let me see what else comes in the box. I know we read it, but here is the charger and then the user manual, just like the box said. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this watch, make sure you stay tuned for the full review. All right, three more things, three more things. Let's go ahead and get this one open right here. This is from, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Phyton Corp. I don't remember that name. All right, okay, these are some Bluetooth wireless headphones. It says fast charging technology, five minutes for one hour of use. So you only gotta charge this for five minutes and you get a whole hour of use. It's got a curved wireless active noise canceling headphones. They actually look pretty cool. This is the white model. It's got Bluetooth 
4.2, active noise cancellation, 95%, uh, wireless music and cause. It's pretty much showing you what each buttons do. But these actually look really cool. I can't wait to give these a review. All right, we're getting down to the bottom barrel here. Let me go ahead and move this stuff over to the side. This is why I call it a tiny tech unboxing because by the time you get everything out of the boxes, this is pretty much what it looks like. I got one more thing right here. Bunch of small stuff, but it's all right. I can't wait to review all of this, but let's go ahead, get on to the next box. This is from Mofi. Oh, our buddies over there at Mofi. So let me go ahead and cut this open right here. There we go. Let me move this box to the side for now. Get this trash out of the way. Let me go ahead and open this up. There we go. Oh, I opened it upside down, my bad. But it looks like, it actually looks like a really nice box. Look at this. In the front it says, Mofi, stay powerful. I can only assume that this is some kind of charger because that is what they are known for. So let's get, go ahead and open this up. This is actually a pretty nice presentation. Look at that, they even got some nice tissue wrapping paper over it. It says, stay powerful, Mofi. The fastest possible charge, Power Station PDXL. Up to 2.5 times faster charge up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. So it looks like it is a portable charger that charges up to two and a half times faster than a regular one. And yeah, here it is, the Power Station PDXL. There you go, you get 35 hours on a smartphone, 35 hours, 13 hours on a small tablet, and up to six hours of battery life on a large tablet. So a standard inbox charger has five watts. This has got 18 watts. And just the whole look of it is actually pretty nice. It doesn't look that bad. Let me push it out of the box here. Let's see what it actually looks like. Here we go. And this is the charger itself. It's actually really small. Let me compare it to my OnePlus 60. Look how small that is. Look at that. I mean, yeah, it is a bit thicker, but it's really small. Something you can fit in your pocket, smaller than the size of your smartphone. And it's got how many milliamps again? This is a 10,050 milliamp portable battery. And look at this, this thing is tiny. So that's pretty cool that they were able to put that many milliamps into a small package like this one. And they also include a USB type C to lightning cable as well, if you do need to charge your iPhone. So Mofi, thank you, really appreciate it. All right, so we got our last and final box right here. This is a lot bigger than all the other ones. This doesn't say who it's from. It gives me an address, but it doesn't say who it's from. So I'm curious to know what is in here. It's gonna be some kind of surprise. Here we go, let's put the knife to the side. Let's open this up. There's a lot of paper in here, so I'm sure it's something that I really have to be protected. Look at this, look at this. My goodness. Oh, okay, this is from our buddies over there at Z Moto. They actually got me the invite to CES this year, so I gotta give a huge thank you, a huge shout out to them. And they asked me if I would like to review some of their stuff, so looks like this is the first thing they sent me out. This is the Pivot All-in-One Smart Home Solution. This is a 360 degree rotating camera and hub. So what this is, I did read up on this a little bit. And what this is, is it's a 360 degree rotating security camera. It comes with four sensors right here. So if you wanna put this like in the middle of your living room, basically the middle of your home where it can catch a window, maybe a sliding door, maybe the front door. It's got these sensors right here. You put the sensors on the sliding door, or the front door. As soon as it catches something opening the door, if it senses the door's opening or the window's opening, the camera will automatically turn that direction on its own. In case somebody's breaking in, you never know. So the camera will automatically turn that direction wherever the sensor is to see who it is that's coming through, what it is that's coming through. So that is actually really cool. I cannot wait to try this out. It's got HD video. It's got the smart hub that comes with it. Motion detection, Bluetooth speaker, and it's got temperature and a humidity sensor as well. So that is pretty cool. And it looks like it even has a light on it. Now on the side of the box, it does say, get the whole picture with Pivot, 1080p HD camera. So 1080p, that is not bad. At least it's not 720p. Like I said, it's got the smart hub. It's also got night vision. Keep an eye on your home even when it's dark. It's got a Bluetooth speaker. Track your home's health with readings of temperature and humidity. And you also got remote access either with your smartphone or a tablet or anything like that. So this looks pretty cool. Can't wait to try it out. You guys make sure you stay tuned for the full review on this. I'll actually show you guys how to set it up as well if you do find yourself interested and end up getting one for yourself.
So there it is, you guys. This has been my tiny tech unboxing. I know it's not a whole lot of stuff, but hey, everything that I get sent here for the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you to all of you that have sent out this stuff to give me a chance to review it and show it on the channel. Like I said before, if you guys find yourself interested in any of this, I will leave the links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself and possibly purchase it for yourself. But this has been episode one of Tiny Tech Unboxing on this channel. If you think I should stick with that, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of any of the stuff that I showed. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said before, if you have not subscribed or turned on post notifications, make sure you do so so you don't miss out on any future videos to come. Make sure you leave a huge thumbs up on this video if you did like it. You guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.